Hey, what is going on there YouTube? This is Robert and today I'm bringing to my Supreme collection as you can see behind me. Now, if I don't end up using this during the video, it is because the audio will be corrupt. I've already recorded this video, uh, but unfortunately the audio went corrupt, which was amazing when I was going through editing it uh, this morning. Uh, I was up editing it, I got everything like in sync and going well and then I played back through and it just went to pieces. So with that all said and done, we're going to be going through my collection. This isn't going to be like uh, accessories or different things like that. It's mainly going to be focused on the clothing aspect. So yeah, before we get into things, if you'd like to comment down below what your favorite piece out of your collection is or what your favorite pieces in general from Supreme, whether you want to get it or whether it's just a grail that you probably won't end up getting, then comment that down below. Or if anything in my collection is part of like that sort of list, then again, drop that down below. I think I said this last time I did an accessory video, but I do have a lot more than a single person should have. Uh, I have gotten rid of a lot of pieces over the last year, like I've literally cleared out quite a couple of pieces, but I've still got a lot. Obviously, it's my personal collection at this point of things that I like and I wear at different points in time, so yeah, I'm gonna try and be as short and sweet with things as I can be because uh, earlier on it was 52 minutes, so that's a bit too long, uh, but yeah, as you can see, uh, this is how my Supreme Live copying ability is going. It is about to crash and break at any moment or at a moment's notice. Uh, I will say that this is not meant for clothes. This is a green screen uh, <laughs> like uh, setup. And yeah, this is now going to be like into like two hours of it being uh, sat in this way. So. Let's see how long it can hold out for. So we're gonna go through everything on this and then we're just going to go through the sort of pieces that are in bags, they're not really on hangers or anything and they're just stored away and kept away because some of them might not be as important as these are which is why they're hung up or they're on hangers but some of them are like I'm not gonna neglect any of the pieces or act like they're not like anything special because a couple of them are quite pricey at the end of the day and yeah I'm not going to be like oh it's just you know nothing when it comes down to it but yeah obviously also this video is going out the day that I normally upload a supreme live cop there wasn't a live cop today because well obviously supreme was cancelled or the drop was cancelled which hasn't happened since like 2014 but it's completely understandable why it was cancelled so yeah Let's just get into things anyway. So basically going to be going left to right just because that seems like the smartest format to do this in. And to kick things off, we're going to be going with this lovely tea, which I will not say the word because I might not get good monetization at that point in time. So yeah, it is the heart tea. I've worn it to absolute pieces. Uh, I remember actually wearing it in to uh, college and basically there was a person coming in that day who was inspecting our lessons and yeah, I had this on like nice and openly and then quickly had to just like zip up what I was wearing so that it could not be seen. Uh, but I like this tee at the end of the day. It's just one of those different ones that people don't really wear or have nowadays. And yeah, it's not really worth a fortune, but it doesn't really bother me because I like to wear it. So yeah. Next up, we're going to be going with the first Supreme tee that I actually purchased myself, which is this tea, which has the same sort of thing as the last one. I'm not gonna read it out. But yeah, uh, this is the first Supreme tea that I've purchased. I've only worn it once or really just tried it on once. It didn't really fit too well when I first tried it on and that's why it's probably in such good condition at the end of the day, so yeah. But personally, I am a massive fan of it. I love the spell out and the graphic and everything to do with it. And yeah, there's nothing really else to say about it. I just think it's a cool tea at the end of the day. And yeah, that is about it. Next up is a tea that I have worn to absolute pieces, nearly. The graphic's nearly broken, it's, it's nearing that point, but it's going to be the Sumo tea, which I believe is the first time that Supreme ever did an ad, or an advertisement, advertisement, however you want to say it. But yeah, this is the first time they did an ad on a tea, and yeah, I've had two other versions of this. I've had another white colorway and then the gray colorway. I also had the hoodie at one point in the black colorway, but I got rid of all of them because I just wanted to keep it simple and keep it with the original one that I ended up picking up. Okay, next up is a tea that I absolutely adore. It is the MC Escher uh, tea. It is in this pink colorway. I've worn it quite a lot, as you can see by the graphic being a little bit faded, but 
yeah, there's nothing to say about it. I absolutely adored this one. Like literally, I wore it to like two different crepe cities, like on the trot sort of thing. Like the one that was, I think, when would it be? Like summertime and then the one that was in like October, November time. I wore this on both occasions just because I absolutely love this t-shirt. I wish that Supreme would do more tees or more artist collab pieces like this uh, because they are just like different, they're out there and I think they're quite cool. Also, you know, box logo on the back, so it's perfect. <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely one of the better tees that I appreciate uh, a lot more just because I do really like the colour scheme to it. Next up, we are going with the mistake of a December 2017 Christmas tee. I do also have the 2015 Christmas tee, uh, but it's being washed at this point in time, so I don't have it on me, on me. This is the mistake tee, I call it because of the pure fact that I thought they were Christmas trees and then I thought they were candy canes. They were not either of those. Um, yeah, so I've worn this like twice, I think at this point in time because it's not really the best thing to be going out in public in, but more so to Christmas time, you know, it's more of one of those pieces that I am actually able to wear and I'm happy to wear at that point in time, so yeah. Next up, we have two pieces. Uh, I'll go through them obviously one at a time, but I've got them both off my brother because he got them for a steal and I've always liked this collaboration specifically and yeah. Maybe one day I'll go to the actual place and take a cringy photo eating and wearing one of these or like one of these with the other one over the top, just to add to it. The first is obviously going to be the White Castle top. Uh, yeah, there's nothing I can really say for it. It's very plain and simple, but personally, I just think it is a really cool piece. They don't really come up that often, and when they do, it's mainly on like eBay. That's pretty much the only place that you're really going to see them massively listed or listed in like the masses. And yeah, personally for me, I'm just a fan of it. As soon as my brother bought it for like 30 pounds, like a year and a bit later, I was just like, oh, you're getting rid of that? I'll take it, all good. And the same applied for the matching piece, which is going to be the shirt or the button-up shirt. It was the same scenario, he was literally getting rid of it and I said, yep, yeah, I'll take that, like, I'm not letting you get rid of that, it's going into my collection instead. I'm yet to wear this one, but maybe one day I will do, but yeah, I'm just a massive fan of the White Castle collaboration. I know a lot of people aren't massive fans of it or like it in any way, but there's just something about it that I just like at the end of the day. Next up is the 2011 Paisley Long Sleeve. Uh, yeah, there's nothing really to say about this. I do have to say that I went to pick this up off of somebody on Facebook. They didn't really accept my offer when I was sort of like haggling and bargaining and things. They didn't go for it in any way. Uh, so then I ended up going onto eBay to see if I can find one, bought one, and then it turns out that it was the same person's um, Paisley at the end of the day. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, they ended up messaging me saying, oh, you won the, the Paisley, and I said, yeah, I did, how did you know? And then they said, oh, because it's mine. I thought, ah, well, I paid £15 less at the end of the day than what they were actually, like, willing to accept, which was much lower than my actual offer. So, yeah, I literally only offered, like, £5 below what he was asking, and then ended up getting it for 15 below the whole like overall thing, if that makes any sense at all, because I did a terrible job explaining that. But yeah, I really like this piece. Uh, I've only worn it a couple of times, and the thing about it was that when I first wore it was in a unboxing video, I believe it was, and in short, I didn't really like how it was like fitting on me. A lot of people in the comments were really supportive, you know, saying that it looked fine, but personally, when you know that something isn't fitting too well, you know, like your own body sort of thing, and that's how this felt. So yeah, with that being said, hopefully when I wear it, like the next time it will look a lot better or I'll feel like it look a lot better. Uh, but yeah, I do like it. I love the graphic to it. I think it is just a really clean, sort of graphic as an overall, as you can see. I love the thickness and the embroidery and everything. I think it's just a really clean piece overall, so yeah. Next up, we're moving on to the piece I wore to my graduation or my uni graduation, which is basically just a shirt at the end of the day. Uh, I picked it up off Depop because it was up for like 30 or 35 pounds. I was really just looking for a Supreme shirt just to sort of look a bit better than wearing a T-shirt or something uh, under everything. And yeah, this came up. I bought it and, well, the rest is history at the end of the day. Uh, it is a size up from what I normally wear, but it doesn't fit like that. It fits like a large instead of an extra large. So yeah, the aspect that I mainly like about it is just that it's got all sort of speckle like color over it. Whether or not this will pick that up is another thing or whether or not you'll see that is another thing. 
but yeah, that is the reason why I wanted it and why I got it and there's nothing else to it really. That's pretty much that. Next up, we have another Depop like 30, 35 pound piece, which is going to be this track jacket. The person listed it up as 2013, but it was actually from 2011. And yeah, that's about that really. I need to give it a wash, but I've never really been a track jacket person to be honest, but it needs a wash. So then I would be able to wear it after that or see how it is after that but yeah there are a couple of stains on it that just need dealing with next up we have the superman series we have the gray and then the blue and yeah there's nothing to say about these they're extremely old crew necks the gray crew neck i was given for my birthday and unfortunately whoever wore it had a really th thick neck and i do not have a thick neck like them uh, so I need to probably take it to a tailor to get sorted because as you can see, just comparing it, you can see the difference in the thickness. But yeah, overall, I picked up the blue one, ended up getting a partial on it because their photos just look nothing like the actual piece that arrived and it was just not great. And if I put it up close, you might be able to see some of the things towards the top right uh, where there are still some stains that just won't come out and that's that, they're just not going to come out at the end of the day. But yeah, I'm happy with them because I just, I love embroidery, like I've said before, and they just have massive embroidered graphics. So I think they're just really cool. So yeah. Yeah, unfortunately I'm gonna have to keep holding the microphone like this, like it's some, like I'm some connoisseur or something with a wine glass because I think it's the cable at the back that's the issue where it's normally uh, set up and connected all okay, but in this case, it's not so let's carry on with the connection connection collection as i walk around to the right side because the center is going to be like the you know type of thing to the collection i suppose um actually the next piece is a bit further away so I'm just gonna have to walk and try and stretch and the next piece <laughs> is going to be my Supreme GT hooded sweatshirt. This is from Fall Winter 17 and unfortunately it has quite a couple of stains and issues uh, thanks to my brother. See the thing is is that on some occasions when we went up to London to sell things or trade things of his uh, he would not have a hoodie on him because he'd be coming straight from work so he'd have to borrow one of mine and yeah in one of the cases whether or not it's seeable or not, but basically he hit the hood on like the top of the car and just got oil and dirt and everything on it. And they're yet to come out basically, the stains. So yeah, cheers for that. I still appreciate that aspect because it's a nice, like I'm trying to point it out, but you can't see it realistically, but on the hood, you might be able to see it's a little bit orange or a little bit of color. Whether or not it's showing is another thing, but yeah, that's thanks to my brother. I really appreciate that from him, but still it's a really nice hoodie. It's just that it weighs an absolute ton. Like it weighs way too much for a hoodie to weigh. Like personally, some hoodies weigh an average amount and they might be lightweight or they might be just okay, but it weighs way too much. So yeah, moving on to the next piece, which is going to be the piece that counteracted the first T. This is going to be the I Pledge Allegiance jacket, which I'll have to swish this around for, as you can see the little crest there. This is from Fall Winter 17 as well, I believe. And yeah, it's just, <laughs> it's just a really nice jacket at the end of the day. I should really like to uh, do it up, but yeah, uh, it's a little bit short, which is why I don't really like zip it up nowadays or in general but I just think it's a really nice piece. It's lightweight and just really easy to wear and have. And yeah, there's nothing else to it really. It's just a nice, simple piece. Following that is going to be a really, really lightweight hoodie that I love, which is going to be my floral hoodie. Yeah, there's nothing to really say about it that's like over the top or anything crazy, but I really just do appreciate it. And it's just such a nice piece. Uh, I know that a lot of people probably aren't fans of it. They're more fans of like the PCL series. But personally for me, I just really love this piece at the end of the day. And yeah, I've worn it on multiple occasions. I picked up the suede uh, camp cap as well. I don't know whether or not I'm gonna be including hats and beanies in this video. Uh, if I don't, then they'll be included in another video. Uh, just because this is just going to be solely like the clothes alone. It has got really dark, I've just noticed as well. But yeah, uh, I really wanted the shorts as well, but they're a lot more like nowadays than they were when I picked this up. I should have picked the shorts up at the same time as I picked this up and the suede uh, camp cap up because yeah, nowadays they're like, I don't even know. I think they're about 130, 140 pounds, whereas at the time, 
the hoodie was like 80, the suede was like 100, and I should have just got them at that point in time, but I didn't. So let's move on to the next thing, which is going to be a set. It does include a hat or a cap. The reason it includes a cap is just because it is a set. It's going to be the Steep Tech set, as you can see. I've only worn the jacket, that is it. I've worn that three times or on three occasions, and that's pretty much it. But yeah, if we get this out, you can see you've got the cap here with its tag and then the little inside plastic is there so that is that and then if I lift this <laughs> in an amazing matter or manner <laughs> if I try to lift this I should say uh, as you can see here are the bottoms with their little tag swinging about there so I've never worn <laughs> I've never worn the full set together and that's just purely because it's quite heavy and like I said, I'm not really a person who likes the heavy, hefty sort of items. I like things that are sort of heavy, is okay during like winter times and things. But when it gets to the point that you're walking inside a building and it's like, you know, five Celsius-ish, five to 15 Celsius outside, you know, it's not the hottest time and you're sweating, then yeah, it's not the greatest of times. And that is what happened with this piece. But overall, I'm a massive fan of the Steep Tech series. And if you're looking for like a cheap-ish Supreme uh, jacket to get, I'm trying to make sure this doesn't fall, but if you're looking for a cheap-ish jacket to try and get, I definitely recommend this because yeah, it's just one of those. And it's not really the most expensive nowadays when I have looked into it, so yeah. Next up, we're going to go to Fall Winter 17 again with the Ice Blue box logo. Uh, I did not pick this up for retail, this was resale. I should have kept it dead stock because this size being XL nowadays is extremely expensive and hard to really get your hands on for a cheap price. I think I saw one of the sales of about 1,200 or 1,100 pounds. So yeah, I probably should have, um, should have kept it new, but Oh well, I've worn it, I've appreciated it, I've worn it like 40, 50 times, I've literally worn it to hell. Uh, so some of the colour on the neck has had some fading and things like that, but you know, that's what you're supposed to do with things nowadays, aren't you? You need to wear them and rock them and appreciate them, so yeah. Next up is one that could do with a bit more, oh my, could do <laughs> with a bit more appreciation and it's going, <laughs> it's going to be the Fall Winter 18 box logo crew neck. My best live cop ever, really. That's the, the easiest way to summarize it. My camera's about to die, which is amazing. So I'll be back in a second. So like I was saying, uh, the Full Winter 18 box logo crew neck, my best live cop ever. Like, I'm not gonna top this. I know I'm not gonna top this because this was like my peak season. It was the season where I had back to back just amazing weeks of like the North Face and then this, and then a couple of weeks prior, I had the Comme des Garçons. Um, split logo T and yeah I'm just not going to top that at the end of the day so that is one of the, the best pieces personally in my collection it comes in like the top five at least or top ten just because I was able to get it manually and yeah it was just amazing I've also just been informed uh, that I've got about 10 minutes until I need to get ready and go and play a doubles match of tennis with my brother so yeah, I haven't eaten in the last couple of hours, so... <laughs> Next up, we are going to move on to the North Face Antarctica series uh, fleece jacket. This was a piece that I picked up for a steal from Facebook. Uh, I haggled, I'll be honest, I, I do do it sometimes. I haggled and bargained, you know, for a price. And yeah, I was able to get it for a better price than what they had it up for. Uh, personally, I think that this is one of the more underrated series. I think that the jackets range from like under £400 you can get them for, which I think for these is just a great price really. Uh, it's not too heavy. This one obviously came a bit dirty and it came with a cigarette in its pocket and things like that. Yeah, there are actually <laughs> cups in the pockets. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> but, you know, I sorted all of that out and yeah, for the price that it was, which Normally they go for like 300 or so, but you turn around when I say this, it was like 250-ish, so yeah. 
So yeah, it was a fair price. Next up, we're going to move on to one of the final pieces before we just get into the extra ones, like I said. This is the absolute grail in my collection. It is the piece that I adored for ages and there's nothing that's really going to come close to topping it out of anything that I own because of the pure fact that I don't think I'll have the disposable income to get a piece like it really ever again, but I just say for a long duration of time and yeah. It's like, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this is my North Face Leopard Nups in the grey extra large, or grey colourway size extra large, and yeah, there's nothing that's going to compare to it for me personally. Uh, it used to belong to my brother, I went over the story already when I picked it up, but this previously belonged to my brother and basically he traded it for the uh, Ramoa suitcase, the first ones that came out, he traded it for a Reg, Reg? Red. He, tra he traded it, I can't speak English, he traded it for the large red version and then sold that on StockX and got like £4,000 payout. Not bad. A year or so, or just past that later, the person then messaged back saying, you know, they were in need of money. Uh, was he interested in it? No, he was not. But I was. And fortunately enough, I was able to get the money together in a quick enough time frame. And here it is, you know. I'm not going to get rid of it, to be honest, for probably a long duration of time, just because of the pure fact that Grey XL by itself is extremely rare. Uh, added together with it being, you know, just a leopard nups in general, it just adds to that and yeah, there's nothing that I can really say about it that's just going to change that. I have been offered like two and a half to three times over what I paid for it already, so yeah. I mean, that that's an amazing offer, you know, at the end of the day, but personally for me, I'm just not going to get rid of it just because it holds a lot of meaning to me personally. Like, it was always that one piece when I started off getting into Supreme that I wanted because my brother had owned multiple of them or multiples of them, and I'd never really been able to get to that sort of price range of getting one, and, well, now I have it, I suppose, and I'm just very fortunate and happy that I do because... It is just a piece that I just like adore at the end of the day. There's nowhere else, like no other way to put it. I just adore it and it is just a lovely piece. So there are a couple of more pieces that I'm going to try and slide out. The first one is just here, which is going to be the Motion Logo Varsity Jacket. Uh, I've worn it once, that's about it. Some people say they have issues with like moss or mold appearing on the sleeves. That hasn't happened to me yet, fortunately cross my fingers you know uh, but yeah I think it's a cool piece I don't wear it too much because like I said it's extremely heavy it's hefty I'm not really a fan of two like hefty pieces uh, and this is just one of those but yeah definitely when the winter time comes around I might be rocking it but yeah now I have to try and find a way to put it down because it's massive so yep that's about as good as it gets so next up we are going to walk over here I love this being able just to walk around and talk and have the same mic quality. This time we are going to move on to the bandana box logo from Fall Winter 19, which was a ghost order. I'm going to class it as, you know, I tried to check out, didn't get a checkout screen, got cards declined a load of times, and then had a payment charge. Uh, and then, well, the rest is history at the end of the day. It's amazing that I have this. I'm probably gonna keep it until winter of which at that point in time I will get rid of it. I don't know whether this piece classes as a piece of clothing or whether it is going to be an accessory. If it classes as an accessory, then I'll just put it into the accessory video as well, but it's going to be the Everlast boxing robe. You can understand why it's on the borderline. This was also a ghost order. Basically, I went for the drop. I didn't record the drop. Uh, and when I was going for the drop, I, uh, Tried to check out, couldn't check out, got a card decline again, and then an hour later, it didn't update or anything to a different screen. Just an hour later, it changed to me getting an email through saying, here's your order, basically. So, yeah, I think that was a lucky one to get. I probably should have sold it a little bit of time ago because there was a really high sale for the size large because a lot of YouTubers went through the phase of wearing them for the boxing matches and things like that. And that's probably the point in time where I should have gotten rid of it, but I'm just going to hold on to it. Next up is a steel, which was the Fleur de Lis. Uh, yeah, 
it's a piece, I believe, from 2013, but it might, might be a different time to that. But yeah, I bought it off of Depop. It was £50, brand new with its tag, or dead stock with its tag. So yeah, one of them sold for like £130 in the teal colorway size large. So can't really miss out on that, can you, at the end of the day? My brother has the black colorway, which I like a lot more, and the royal colorway I also like a lot more because it just pops a bit more. But still, there's nothing wrong with the teal colorway. It's nice, it's just a bit of a muddy sort of green looking color though. Next up is a piece that I bought off of eBay, which was the 20th anniversary taxi driver tee. Size small, it's never going to fit me, but I picked it up for a fair price, so it was like, one in the morning and someone said, I know you're after the taxi driver pieces, this one's about to end, here you go. And yeah, I went for it and that was that. The next piece is one that I really do appreciate. Like, I know there is a lot here and I've gone over a lot and it's probably got quite high value to it and obviously people might say you can't appreciate everything, but I do really appreciate everything that I've got. I'm very fortunate to have all of this, genuinely, it's insane to have all of this because I know there are people out there who probably only have like one piece or maybe not even that and they can't even afford to get a piece. So I am really grateful for what I have and this piece definitely comes at the top of the list with that because it is the Daniel Johnston Eternal Fight tee. This piece was given to me by my brother on my 21st birthday and let alone the fact that it's Daniel Johnston or that it's from my brother, just the fact of the graphic alone resonating with me personally, I really do just appreciate it. And yeah, I, uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. So I hold this one like dearly and high, basically. Next up is the Spring Summer 18 Undercover uh, Public Enemy hoodie. Uh, yeah. It's a brick, I think, but, or it is a brick. I don't think it is, it is a brick. Uh, I'm probably not gonna wear it for another little bit of time. I'm just gonna keep it as it is. But when I do come to wear it, you'll probably see it on like an Instagram picture. I do need to post on Instagram more, but I just don't really have anything that I think look cool to post as like a picture or any ideas for that, but yeah. Next up is the Raymond Pettibon uh, Bang Tea. Uh, they did two variations of this. I got the less explicit one, I'd say. It was like 30 pounds, so I just thought, why not pick it up? I've never worn it. I actually forgot about it for about like seven months. And then I all of a sudden was digging through things and I was like, oh, I've got this tea. <laughs> so yeah. Next up is a tea that I think will probably be really sought after uh, in the future, which is going to be the dynamite tea. Uh, I think that the pink colorway or the light pink colorway just pops massively and it just looks amazing. And yeah, definitely I think this is going to be sought after. The sales are already nearing like 90 pounds ish. So yeah, personally for me, I think it's going to be one of those teas that a lot of people will want in the future because I just think it's cool at the end of the day. I think I'm going to end off things with this piece just because of the pure fact that although there are beanies and things around here, uh, I just think that I'll just end off on this one just because it is a cool one. I do also have a cap. Uh, it's not the matching colorway to this. It is the yellow abstract colorway, but it's still a cool piece. So these are the abstract swimming trunks. They're brand new dead stock with tags never tried on. Uh, my brother gave these to me. He basically bought himself a pair and me a pair for a steal of a price, basically getting them together because someone was just trying to get rid of them. And yeah, the tag or on the retail, I think it's like 93 or 89 pounds or something like that, which is insane. And yeah, he did not pay anywhere near that, but I've never worn them just because I don't really know, to be honest. Uh, I went from or went during that drop for the cap the abstract cap and that's what I ended up with. So I probably should have gone for the towel as I like the towel a lot more and I like the multi colorway anyway in the abstract piece more. So I should have just got that, but I didn't. So that is that at the end of the day. But yeah, that is going to cover my collection. I've currently been recording for one hour and 15 minutes or an hour and 15 minutes. So my voice is going, I'm getting a little bit tired and I think I will leave it at that because it's still going to be about a 30 minute video. So with that all said and done, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, a like would be much appreciated. Like I said, if you'd like to comment down below which piece of mine is your favorite. And other than that, I will see you all next time. Uh, if you'd like another collection type of video to do with the other things like accessories or things like that, 
I will happily do that in a couple of weeks because I'm going to do these as like a yearly thing so you can see any either like changes or updates or things like that. And obviously I can't forget the killer long sleeve which I'm wearing at the moment which I have worn to absolute pieces. But yeah, that is going to cover everything. Thank you for watching and I will see you all next time. <laughs> I'm so tired. Peace.